What brings you guys here? I hope everything's okay. Uh, just, a, just a visit with his pediatrician. Oh, good. Yeah. Mrs. Quartermain, Leo, Dr. Diamond will see you now. Okay, uh, honey, why don't you go with uh, Nurse Katie for a second? I'm going to have a conversation with Brooklyn. Okay, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay. Is everything okay? Well, I don't know. Why don't you tell me? You seem to be the expert on my son. Uh, you and you and Austin. Sorry. No, 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 no. Or any of that, Olivia. I don't need an apology. I just would like an honest answer. Is that what Austin's been, been hitting about all this time? He thinks my son has autism? He does. I mean, you had a nice life in Pawtuck. You had a what, medical practice. 500 people sponsored you and raising thousands for a local hospital. 505. What? Well, I did have the most sign-ups. And you sacrifice all that to try and force your way into a family that doesn't want you. Yeah, I know. It must seem counterintuitive. And I did have a great life there. So why give that up? And the answer for me is simple. I don't think I really could have enjoyed that life unless I tried to have this life. Nothing like that's ever happened to you? You've never been in a situation where you had to weigh two things that you cared about and choose one over the other? Have you really been that lucky?